John Wright. Edge by Wright, and it's on its way to the fence. Well, what a start. Graham Dilly catching the edge of John Wright's bat. Not too much movement between the wicketkeeper and the slip, and it's off for four. This time, Wright's got hold of a pull shot, and he's got four runs. His third boundary. Edge, is it? The Englishman think it's out. Fred Goodall says not out. And Bruce French has dumped the ball on the ground. Neil Radford is not happy. So a little bit of controversy coming in just before lunch here on the first day of the second test. Bowled him. Straight through. And New Zealand's first wicket is down. Trevor Franklin is out. Bowled by Paul Jarvis for 27. Here's Jarvis. Looked like it might have just put the front pad of Trevor Franklin onto the off stump. He's castled and is out for 27. Yeah! And Jeff Crow is out. Caught in the slips. So Mike Gatting gets the breakthrough that he and his team desperately wanted. David Capel takes the catch. And New Zealand to 98 for two. Jeff Crow is out for 10. But then Dilly getting the ball to climb a little bit more steeply on Crow, caught halfway and playing away from his body, wasn't able to control the shot. And fourth slip taking the catch, which justifies Gatting's uh, ultra attacking field. Well, what a fine shot by John Wright away through the offside. Martin Moxon with the chase. A pleasant looking shot by John Wright. As the New Zealand 100 is posted, 101 for two, and John Wright is 59. And he is out. Yes, David he... Capel takes his second catch at mid-wicket, Martin Crow hitting across the line, and falls at mid-wicket from the bowling of John Embury. In the air, and away it goes for four runs. John Wright moves on to 99. And there it is. 100 for John Wright. A magnificent century to John Wright. 16 fours, he's been very, very positive. No run there for Mark Greatbatch. The players look towards the umpires and they're heading from the field. So that's the end of the first day's play here at Eden Park. First ball of the second day's play and it's Radford to right. No ball, right picked it up. Didn't really get onto it, but he'll get a couple of runs for this. Coming back for the second. Short ball from Radford, and right immediately, when he heard the call, tried to swing it away through square leg. Well, that was a sharp one. John Wright left the decision fairly late as he went underneath. That's a nice shot from Great Batch. Timed it beautifully. Capel chasing. And they should have time to complete three runs to get Mark Greatbatch underway for the day. Edge. And he's caught behind. John Wright is out. After his long vigil yesterday, he's out very early on the second morning for 103. An excellent knock for New Zealand by John Wright, his seventh test match century. Oh, good ball, loud appeal, he's out. Got the little edge, Mark Great Batch, umpire Fred Goodall delivers the message, you're on your way, and Mark Great Batch is out. Graham Dilly, the bowler.
There was noise there, wasn't there? Yes, we, we got a little nick on here. Did he hit his pad, do you think, or did he perhaps hit his bat? It may have been, looking at it again, the noise seemed to be just a little bit before the ball arrived. Driving, good-looking shot, John Bracewell. That'll go away down to the long off boundary for four. Certainly hit that well. Loud appeal for a bat pad. Umpire Fred Goodall has given the decision in favour of the bowler. So Dilly's got another wicket. John Bracewell caught in short. Martin Moxham did well to get underneath it. Just pushing forward, a bit of bat, a bit of pad, and it just ballooned away. Martin Moxham in close, dived underneath. And uh, John Bracewell on his way. Yeah. Bowled him. Straight through. And Ken Rutherford is out for 29. Batted very well for his 29, Ken Rutherford. He's very disappointed. Showed a lot of grit and determination in his batting today. A lot of restraint. Edge. And he's on his way. Caught behind. To 23, New Zealand lose their eighth wicket at 262. Jarvis aiming out on and outside that off stump, and uh, Ian Smith pushing out that ball and getting a nick, hanging around for the umpire's decision. But Roger McCarg on this occasion giving the affirmative to Paul Jarvis. Oh, this is uh, high in the air. He's tried to hook a difficult catch for Moxham, but he does well, takes it. Martin Snedden attempting to swing Dilly away on the leg side. Didn't really get it round at all. It uh, went high in the air, and Martin Moxham had a difficult catch at mid-off. He had to move back and uh, pick up the ball coming down over his shoulder, but did well, took it safely, so New Zealand lose their ninth wicket. Cable bowls to Chatfield. Edge, and away goes Chatfield. Put behind, the bowling change did the trick, and the New Zealand are all out for 301. Wild delivery, and uh, Moxon goes after this one. He didn't hit it as well as he might have, but he gets four runs, and they all count. Sick outside edge goes away down to third man for four. Broad is not happy about it, but the finger was up from Fred Goodall, and England at 27 for one. Well, short delivery, and that swung away. Not a great-looking shot, but effective enough uh, by Robinson, and it just makes the boundary out there at mid-wicket. Again, Danny Morrison paying the penalty. Just can't bowl short on this pitch. First ball of the morning, then. Danny Morrison to Martin Moxon. single Martin Moxham and gets through safely and good morning to uh, Henry Dauphin. And a very good morning to you John and to all our viewers and a good start so far for England Martin Moxham getting his second 50 there in test cricket and that's going to do his confidence no harm whatever. Look for a quick single this is quite a sharp one Rutherford in fires the ball at the stumps but they're through. So it was good running because they both responded. Uh, Robinson's his 50. Well played, too. Hit. Caught. Danny Morrison. Down of mid off. Well bowled by John Bracewell, though. It was beautiful bowling by Bracewell because the ball before was a bit quicker, a bit flatter. It was a little bit fuller this time. Robinson coming down the wicket, looking to hit over the top. Brilliant catch by Danny Morrison. In fact, he's so athletic in the field. But here's Robinson moving down the wicket, using his feet quite nicely, but unfortunately uh, didn't get enough loft on the ball. Danny Morrison there taking a well-judged catch. In fact, quite a brilliant catch. Remember that uh, New Zealand played their first test match against England back in 1930. So over the course of 58 years, we're about to see perhaps the 100th test century. And he's gone! 
disappointment for Martin Moxon. Moxon has been very nervous, very tentative. You see the front leg doesn't get very far forward. Ominous signs from Gatting that uh, if he gets a couple of batsmen to stay with him, he could really put a big one together. And this time, Mike Gatting is gone. It was a big nick. He waited for the decision from Fred Goodall, but Danny Morrison has made an important breakthrough. The England captain out for 42. Yeah! He's gone. Caught behind. Neil Fairbrother getting in that Ewan Chatfield. Another wicket. Pushing forward, taking the edge. Ian Smith, straightforward catch. So England on the ropes. See if getting some movement with this new ball, and that was a beautiful delivery. He had to play it, and it just moved away off the pitch. Edge. And that's the end of David Capel. Danny Morrison has his second wicket, and England are 234 for six. And Danny Morrison's bowled very well. He's in his 22nd over. Now has two for 61 with this ball. A bit quicker, a bit fuller. Capel drives a bit at it, goes very quickly to John Bracewell, just takes it knee high. Very safe, comfortable catch. He's given him out. That pad, Bruce French not happy. Umpire Fred Goodall delivers the message. He's on his way. Well, it was beautifully bowled by Bracewell. He's deserved it exactly what he had to do to get Bruce Finch just for pushing at the ball outside the off stump and the ball has turned it's come back quite sharply now whether he did get a nick on it or hit his pad or whatever you can't really assess that it was well taken by Franklin oh a solid cloud here by Embury and Martin Crowe's in trouble it's silly mid off did that get him in the forehead or in the eyes perhaps this is a distressing sight for New Zealand fans a full-blooded off drive there by John Embury now watch Martin Crowe on the right of the picture here in the uh, white floppy sun hat. Martin Crowe looking very groggy as he's assisted from the field. Graham Hayho, the physiotherapist, Mike Sparling, one of the Auckland Cricket Association doctors out there as well. That's out. Yes, I think that's no more than, than Martin Snedden deserves. He's done a great job today. He's given away runs at just about two and over. Certainly no more. Bowled him. First wicket of the morning. <coughs> Neil Radford Castle by Ewan Chatfield. And it's 308 for nine. Great sight for all fast bowlers to see the stumps knocked out of the ground. And uh, a nice smile on the face here from Ewan Chatfield. Tries to swing this away, he gets back on it, he'll probably go for four, but Danny Morrison does well, in fact. He strips the scoring for just one. Danny Morrison is very active in the field, racing around uh, down there in front of the stand. Ah! Now to Peel, umpire Roger McCarg. Straightforward catch behind Ian Smith. Ewan Chatfield, the bowler. And uh, John Embry's fine innings of 45 has come to an end. The England innings has come to an end. 323 all out. Once again, using his feet. That's a lovely stroke. Down to the fence for four runs. There we are. Sir Franklin. Moving to his 50, getting two runs, so on to 51. Bowl him. Trevor Franklin is clean bowled by Graham Dilley for 62. Edge. And John Rudd is out. Slow ball, he's out of the W. No shot from Jeff Crow, and it's into the pads. There was never much doubt about that. Another appeal for LBW, and he's out. Martin Crow throws his head in the air in disgust, and wanders off. 
and is out for 26. Clean bold. Can Rutherford's woes continue? That one looked as though it straightened up on Rutherford. Back went the off stump. And New Zealand lose their fifth wicket at 153. Here's the first run of the morning. And in fact, there might be room for two here. And Mark Brackbatch comes back to complete two runs. Turned very fine by Sneddon. First boundary of the morning coming up. A well-timed stroke. Oh, good-looking shot. Four runs. It was in the air for a wee way, with Tim Robinson diving away to his right, unable to stop it, and it uh, raced away. And he is on a bad line then. That's well struck by Mark Greatbatch for four runs. Jarvis back, replacing John Embury. Full toss, bad ball to start with, and Mark Greatbatch has helped himself to four more. Good shot, cashed in on the bad ball. Really in the slot for uh, 